You've also, uh, some have described the McLaren transformation as, as, as a transition that's gone from crisis to confidence. Is, is that how you would describe it? Um, I've never actually really thought about it that way, but actually I, I would agree with that. And I think we were, you know, ninth in the championship. If that is not a crisis, I don't know what is, I guess 10th, but <laughs> you're, you're in bad shape in ninth in the championship right. and losing partners and discuss. So yeah, I, I would say it was a, a crisis. Um, you, you had to kind of attack it like it wasn't a crisis. Cause I think when people hear crisis, they, they, they panic. So you had to have a, a real calmness and focus. Um, and I think we are uh, confident now. I think what led to our, the crisis was being cocky and arrogant. Um, and so, you know, we're confident now, but we're humble and it wasn't that long ago we were in a crisis. So I think we're far from being arrogant, which is what got us in trouble in, in the first place. Yeah. You, um, have a, an advisory board. You've always had for a long time. You've had an advisory board. Who's on that advisory board? Uh, some of the greatest business leaders um, uh, around the world. It's everyone from Michelle Coombs, who was the CEO of Vodafone, who's now at SoftBank and was Alcatel, to Blake Irving, who was the CEO of GoDaddy, to Jeremy Burton, who was the CMO of Dell, to Rob Malcolm, who was the CMO of Diageo, to David Z, who's a partner in Greylock, uh, to uh, Cindy Rose, who's the CEO of Microsoft Europe, to Andrea Wong, who sits on the Liberty Board and was the president of Sony Entertainment. So a very, what I looked for when I built the advisory group was uh, different skill sets. So on the advisory group, it's about 15 people. So I just kind of hit the tip of the iceberg is summer brand people, some are operational people, some are comms people, some are sales people by background. Um, they're in all different industries. Some were very, you know, consumer product goods, you know, Mark Engel, Unilever, Rob Malcolm, Diageo. Some were B2B, Greg Sperkle, CEO of Ingram Micro, one of the biggest B2B companies to geography, so, uh, you, you know, Sabrina Fung, who's Asia, and Michelle Coombs, who's SoftBank was in Japan, to people on the West Coast, to East Coast. So I wanted to make sure that when we had a, a need, there was enough um, diversity uh, in, in the advisory group that if we had a challenge or a need, it was like, oh, we've got something on sustainability here. Let's go to Keith Weed, who's the former CMO of Unilever, which is recognized as one of the leading companies to embrace sustainability. Let's go talk to him about sustainability. If it was about, you know, cutting edge technology, let's go talk to Javier, who's at SoftBank and David Z, because they're investing in, you know, new startup technologies. So they know who's going to be hot in five years. And so it was all about surrounding myself with uh, more experienced, smarter people than me with lots of business acumen. And they've been uh, wonderful, not only for me, but for my entire leadership team and the organization. They're, they're a big contributor to our success.